Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I just wanted to show you, um, I'm going to show you a few cards that I made, but before I did, I wanted to show you one of the images that I've colored from littlebluebuttonstamps.com. I'm really, really enjoying this coloring, and this is uh, a digi image from Little Blue Button Stamps, and uh, Olga, and I'm cannot, I don't know how to say it, Miss Anayona um, is her uh, YouTube name and I'll put it below along with a link for little blue button stamps. Um, this is the second image I got from her and this girl is a little more sophisticated than the image I did before but I'm I loved it. The dress is all coral and pretty and I love the golden browns and and yellowy golden highlights in her hair and and uh, she looks more like for what I could put on a teenager's card and um, so this is the image that I did and I was really really tickled with how it turned out so I'll make sure I'll put the links below in case you're interested in going and checking out the other digi images she's got some of the cutest images I love them I got to figure out how to do them because sometimes mine will smear. So my idea is to take them and print them onto regular paper, just plain cheap copy paper or cardstock paper, and then take them and have them laser printed. And so that's what I think I'm going to do. That way I, I don't think they'll smear when I put my inks. You know, these are Spectrum Noir but I also use Copics on the face and they all um, I have to be real careful around any dark imp, you know, lines like the eyes and the eyebrows and stuff so I think I'm not doing it right so I think if I can print it on a laser printer I think that will work better for me but this is the image and I wanted to share it with you I'm going to move that away now these were free digital images that I got um, online and I cannot remember where I got them I saved you know I just saved the pictures so I'm not sure where I got them and I've been really having a ball doing the three by three cards and you know they open up like this and just real basic simple cards and they will fit in a square three by three envelope that you can make um, with the Martha Stewart scoreboard the Stampin' Up scoreboard um, any regular scoreboard that will do envelopes and so these are the colors that I've done and I'm getting better I, I still have a long way to go but I'm getting better with my coloring let's see this this one was my first one of these three then this one was the second one and then this one was the third one so I think you can see some improvement. I want to put some stickles here, but my family's going to be home soon and it will be real noisy again. So I wanted to show you these um, before everybody come busting in the door and total chaos breaks out at the house like it does every day. But I like this teddy bear better, but this was the first one I did. And I'm learning like how to put the you know the shadow underneath like where the hand would be and stuff like that so I'm, I'm I'm getting there I'm getting there so it's been it's been a blast and the spectrum noir markers work great I have all of them now and so you have a lot more choices to blend with than you do if you just get the original 72 so if you can get the additional four sets I highly recommend it I have nothing to do with Spectrum Noir or Crafter's Companion or, you know, Consumer Crafts is where I found mine and they were cheaper than any place um, that I had seen. And uh, so I have nothing to do with them other than I'm really, really enjoying. I, I want to learn to do the skin tones with my, spec or with my Spectrum Noirs, but I'm struggling with it for some reason. So I guess I'm just going to have to print out some faces and practice. But I just wanted to share these with you. I hope you like them. 
and again they just open like this and I think they're just so cute to you know leave on an, you know your friend's desk at work or just you know leave on you know the seat that somebody sits at at church and you know that's where they normally sit or they've sat their Bible there because they're going to be in the choir loft singing and you just kind of lay this on top of their Bible I think it's a really neat idea and I would be at church right now except I had a couple major seizures last night so um, I'm pretty weak and tired and, and a lot of pain right now so this is relaxing for me so this helps but this is what I did and my family will be home from church soon so I wanted to share them with you thanks for visiting with me today guys and happy crafting bye